Everyone involved in the loading of heavy vehicles must comply with the load restraint guide or any procedures outlined in your company manual. Under the compliance and enforcement laws, everyone, including you, involved in road transport operations will be held liable for breaches. So for your own safety and for your legal protection, you must comply with the load restraint requirements. If you think that a load is not securely restrained, you must not move the vehicle until the problem is fixed or until you have confirmed that the load restraint used complies with the established procedures. Before using any load restraint equipment, put on a pair of gloves. It could save your fingers. Using a dog and chain is the usual method to secure heavy loads and machinery on trailers. The chain has hooks on one end and is secured to the side of the truck. This might sound a bit simple, but check that there's no one on the other side of the vehicle before passing the chain over the load. Once the chain is passed over the load, it is then tightened using the dog. Excess chain should be wrapped around the dog. This will minimise the chance of it springing open during travel. When adjusting or releasing the tension of the dog, keep your face well clear of the dog handle as it can spring back and cause an injury. Essentially, similar issues apply to load binders. That is, check the other side of the vehicle before passing them over the load. The hook on the other end could cause someone a serious injury. It's probably worthwhile warning people in the vicinity that you're about to tie down the load. You should also check the strap carefully before passing it over. Coming over. The other thing to remember is to secure the straps to the holder immediately. Don't leave them lying around for people to trip over. And by the way, an angle should be used to protect fragile freight. One more thing in relation to binders, make sure you release the tension before taking them off. These lift-out gates are another way of stabilising a load. The gates can be heavy and you should never try to remove or place them yourself. Always ask for help and use your legs to lift and not your back. The tabs at the base of the gates need to be accurately placed in the slots on the combing rail. Again, wearing gloves will help avoid hand injuries. Once the gates are in place, secure the load with load binders or chains. And still on the subject of load restraints, it's important to check when you're loading containers that the locking pins are in place before you drive off.